contributes, blah, 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 blah. You may think, oh, well, that was a minute. You'll look and you'll see it's like two and a half minutes long. All right? It's a lot less time than you think. One of the reasons for the time constraints is, is my way of ensuring that you spent some time editing it, right? Because unless you are really lucky or a really good planner, then you're going to have to edit it to get it within the minute parameters. Now, if you're really great at planning, good for you. You deserve credit for it, right? If you're really lucky, well, there's nothing I can do. You know, you can play the lottery, you know, is my suggestion, in addition to turning in this assignment. So that's one of the reasons why you have the one-minute restriction, all right? The other reason, as I said before, our goal in this class isn't to make you a filmmaker, you know, to, re to, to be able to film uh, and make feature films. The uh, purpose of this class is to make sort of high-impact, get-your-message-across films in sort of a business context, right? And for those, a uh, one-minute, hard-hitting PSA is much better than a, you know, a 90-minute feature film. You know, if you look at the successful uh, marketing videos on YouTube, typically they're fairly short, all right? They want to make their point, make their message, and, and be done with it. So that's option one. You will do this individually, and you will record uh, and edit a, 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 a PSA slash commercial for a real, fictional, whatever organization. How many of you have access to a video camera? Okay. A couple of you do. Uh, those of you that don't, don't worry. Um, I do have some video cameras that I can give you. They are limited. I mean, they're not great video cameras. But at least, again, you can record some video, and, and, and getting some video recorded uh, is, you know, is, is, is key. Yes? That includes a, would that include a, a digital camera? Yeah, anything that you can get, anything that you can record video on and, and get on a computer to, to, to manipulate and edit. So flip it's are good? You can you just flip it things? Anything that you can record the but video in, in a digital footage. manner and get it on a computer. Sorry. Yeah, so if the answer, I, I'm not really familiar with. Yeah, my kids play with it. Okay. Yeah, I'm not really familiar with that is, but uh, if you can do it, fine. Now, that's option one, and that's an individual project. Option two is a partner, object, uh, partner project. And I would like to see someone take me up on this one, all right, or, or two people, actually. I guess it doesn't have to be a partner project. If you want to take it on individually, that's fine, but you're welcome to use a partner on it. And this is another service learning project. What is service learning? Service learning is when we create some project or we're involved in some project that actually benefits groups, people within our community for real. All right? For nursing, for example, a service learning project might be to go to a shopping center and take blood pressures. All right? Right? They're, they're practicing skills that they need to do, to do, right? And they are actually doing people some good, right? The people that come, the individuals that come and, and, and do it, um, you know, get, get a free blood pressure reading. And, and they, they, you know, that may tip them off to, to needing to see their doctor, for example. So the idea is a couple things. First of all, this being a community college, uh, it's generally agreed, <laughs> I think very few people would argue, that to serve our community in some manner is a good thing. All right. If you are one of those one in a million people that would argue that notion and say, why should I help anyone in the community? I'll tell you why. Because you're also going to be helping yourself. You're going to be helping yourself because you're going to be working on an actual project with an actual client. And that is better than just one that you make up. You know, studies shown that that's a much better learning experience. There's a good chance you're going to be more motivated. Um, you know it's going to be for real, so you're going to want to do a good job, and so on and so forth. All right? The other thing is, besides being a better educational experience, it's a great thing to put on your resume. If you're looking for a job as a web developer, what do people want to know? People want to know that you can do the job. Well, what's one way you can do the job? You could say created and edited a three-minute promotional video for such and such organization. Okay? So... What are the details of this? The details of this is, is um, I think I posted it as part of the, the assignment. You can read a little bit more details. <coughs> but um, the details are that 
it, it, this is a group that works and coordinates with a number of volunteer churches in the areas to provide um, housing for homeless people. All right? What they do is something like this. All right? They, um, they, you know, th th they identify the people that they can take care of. Right? Uh, they, they identify people that need their services. They work with church members or different churches, and for a week at a time, they will live in one of those churches, like in their school gym or, or whatever, all right, wherever they have space. And during that week, then, the um, church volunteers will, like, feed them and, and so on. Now, during the day, some of these folks have jobs, all right, uh, a van from this organization will, like, take them to their job. Or they'll take them to a center where they can maybe, you know, learn some life skills, you know, managing money, uh, preparing for a job, job-seeking skills, and so on. All right? So it's really a very worthwhile organization doing some good work. And they're going to have some goals. Obviously, if they have a nice little video, they could possibly use that to promote themselves and get more people that are willing to volunteer, get people that are willing to donate, get churches that are going to want to be sponsors. Right? Because as you can imagine, for a church, that's a pretty big undertaking, a pretty big commitment to, to have to have, uh, you know, to house people for a week and to uh, provide them meals during that time. You know, it, it takes a lot of volunteer work, so they, they, they want to try to spread it around to more churches, you know. Thirty churches in, in Loring County is, is a small fraction of the churches. I mean, I know a lot of them are close today, but I mean, when I was growing up, there was like you know, five churches with a walking distance of me, you know, growing up. Uh, so there's a lot of churches in the area, and so if they could get more involved, the better it will be. If you choose to take this option, let me know, and I'll put you in contact with the person. Um, I can have the person come in one day during either lecture or lab to talk to the people that, that, that want to get involved in it and give them some ideas, and you can make arrangements. And you can work with that person to create a video however she wants. Now, for this video, there's not going to be the restriction of the one minute. Because if you guys decide that a three-minute video is better, then I'm not going to say no. You've got to make it a one minute. It has to, you know, your first job is creating something like that is satisfying the client. So as long as her demands aren't unreasonable, you know, whatever she says goes. Now, you may be apprehensive and say, you know what, I don't know how to do this very well. You know, uh, I, you know I, I haven't even edited a video yet. You know, uh, how am I going to go and do this uh, video that, that's going to be used for an organization? Well, what I jokingly say, and I don't mean any disrespect for that, but if the organization doesn't like it, then they can ask for their money back. All right? You're giving them and you're providing them a service for free, and you're going to give it your best shot. If that doesn't meet their standards, then, you know what, at least they tried. You know, it, you know the, the fact, you know, most, most nonprofit charitable organizations are pleased with any sort of contribution that they have. And any, for example, video or any materials that they could put on their Facebook page or whatever, it's going to help them out a lot. All right? You know, how bad would your video have to be that no video would be better? All right? It would have to be Battlefield Earth, or whatever that was called, to, to achieve that. Pretty bad movie, right? John Travolta was, it was pretty good in it. Yeah, he, yeah. Even now, I'm sure, two or three times a day, he'd probably be like, what was I thinking of that? You know. But anyhow, um, so that's, that's it. We can, we can, I can entertain questions for you on your two options, but in a nutshell, that is what your two options are. I would like to see someone take this on because, number one, it's a good cause, obviously, you know. And number two, it will be good for you um, to have this experience. And number three, this person also had a service learning project in one of my other classes that no one took her up on. So I feel a little bad for that, you know. I typically make these service, you know, and, and I, I give the people the understanding that these are optional projects, all right. That way... You know, she doesn't, you know, they don't think that they're absolutely getting something, you know. And I don't feel compelled to require people. You know, I, I don't feel it would be appropriate for me to require you to participate in this. I, I don't think that's a good idea. But I do think it's good to provide the option, 
All right. So that's that assignment in a nutshell. Other than the fact that you'll be working with a client and your one minute restriction is, is lifted, and two, the service learning is a uh, collaborative assignment where a couple people can work on it. Um, if you twist my arm, maybe, especially the left arm, which I've heard over the weekend, but if you twist my arm, maybe three people would be okay to work on it if, if, if you're thinking in groups of three. All right? But, um, what was I going to say? Um, that's really the only difference is you'll do the same thing. The planning part will be the same. The uh, execution of it will be the same. In one sense, the planning part will be easier because you'll talk with the person and you'll identify what she needs. And in that case, you don't have to like, make up, gee, am I going to do it on bicycle helmets? Or what I wish the student would have done it uh, on a few years back instead, uh, inline skating wrist uh, guards. All right? So at any rate, those are your two options uh, for, for the project. Do we have any questions at this point? Do I have any idea? I, I, I talked to them once, and <clears throat> and I remember there were like two possibilities that were discussed. I remember the one. The one would be to show what a typical day is for one of their clients, what they what they go through. Uh, I think the idea for that is that would uh, dispel any. Uh, any stereotypes that people have about people that are homeless, right? Uh, one of the things about this organization, and one of the things why, in my mind, they're especially worthwhile, is that every client they take in somehow involves a child, all right? That is for, you know, it might be a mom and a child, it might be a dad and a child, it might be a mom and a dad and two children, or whatever. But somehow, for them to take on this as a client, there's a child involved. So a lot of times, you know, people think, oh, you know, homeless person, and that may have some bad images of them being, you know, substance abuse issues and, you know, and, and lazy or whatever. Where a lot of folks, again, especially in the hard economic times, are hardworking people that, you know, have had some bad circumstances. And some of them have jobs. The kids go to school, you know. And so, therefore, they need any assistance they want. So, anyhow, one of the options was to give... Uh, that sort of narrative. Now that may involve you to do some work outside of class, all right? And you know, you can talk to me about that, you can schedule that. If you have to miss a class to do that, that's fine, but that may come out too. Another, uh, another option that, and again, I don't remember this one as well, but another option would be to have more of a discussion slash interview with her just to explain her organization and tell what it does so that they could do that, you know. Again, a lot of times when you put a face on something is better. Again, think back to the, think back to the, the, one of the first examples in class where we had the text of a Martin Luther King speech versus actually hearing him speak, all right. It would be one thing to read on a page that, you know, our organization helps homeless people and we always, uh, the people, the clients that we help always, there's a child involved one way or another, and so on and so forth. That's one thing to, to read that. It's another thing to hear actually someone talking about it and get the inflection of their voice and the emotion and all that involved. So for that, a video would be well suited. Those are the two ideas she gave, but you know what? I would, I would, I would bet that if you talked to her and figured out something other than that, or if you had an idea of something you could do, or whatever, that... You know, should be willing to run with that. You know, the nice thing about this one is, the nice thing about this one is that unlike, how do I want to say this? Unlike uh, the service learning projects in some of my other classes, where like there kind of has to be a winner, if you know what I mean. In other words, only one of the sites could go live. Like if three students in my class do the service learning project currently in my 216 class, only they can only pick one of them because they can't have three websites, right? In this case, you could have three videos to promote them, each one talking about a slightly different aspect of it or whatever, all right? So this one, yeah, you know, they could create a YouTube channel and put up three different videos. Maybe in video A, they talk about who their clients are. 
Maybe video B, they talk about their volunteer church groups. Maybe volunteer, or video three, they talk about some other aspect, donations. So the nice thing about that is, is uh, again, you know, there's a potential for um, everything folks do to be, to be, um, to, to be used. Now, um, I have some, I mentioned I have some very low-end cameras you could use for practice. If you're interested, especially in pursuing this one, I can check around to see if I can get some better equipment. Because that is, that is one thing that would be a little bit different. And therefore, if any of you have a video camera or whatever, especially if it's a, a higher quality, that would, be, that would be good. But I can check around. I'll bet if I uh, begged and pleaded and, and you know, broke into someone's office. When, <laughs> uh, let, me, let me say that again. Broke into someone's office. Uh, that I could find uh, that I could find a, a better video camera. Other questions? Video editing software. Video editing software. Um, again, this class, as far as software, is is technically agnostic. All right. I don't care what video editing software you use, as long as you video, it, as long as you you edit it. So we're going to talk about options that you have in future classes. Windows Movie Maker, sure. You can use that. That's free. It's not the best video editing software, but it can't beat the price. If you have a Mac, iMovie, yeah, absolutely. Um, if you have more extensive, or if you have access to more extensive, more power to you. I'm interested in. There, you know, there's so many. There's so many tools out there. You know, I don't. I don't want this to be a Final Cut class or a, this class or that class. I want this a class to be about using whatever multimedia tools are available to make a good product. And if you learn one editing tool, you'll have a leg up on learning all the other editing tools anyhow. So, again, uh, I don't care specifically what you have. Again, the only restriction is when you're done, you have to give me something in a standard format. So, MP4 format, uh, 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 Windows Media uh, video, WMV file, uh, some sort of standard format you'd have to give that to me. Other questions? Um, regarding the final project, you had said that the design is going to be due soon. Do you know the date offhand, or is it online? It's online. Check check the syllabus. I, 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 Pardon? It's not listed on there, I don't think. I think it is on Angel, on though. Which one are you talking Angel? about? Which deadline? The final project design. That's due in uh, the final? Fourth. The fourth. The fourth. Uh, yeah. I thought it was on the syllabus, but it is somewhere online if it's not in the syllabus. Okay, Other questions? Yeah. Actually, it's due Wednesday. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, wow, that, that took up more time than I had thought. I actually, uh, I actually thought today I was weak on material, that I had trouble going the distance. As it turns out, uh, I wasn't, so... All right, that's good. Uh, that, that's, I think that's the most notable characteristic of a professor, is if you give them a certain amount of time to talk, they will fill that amount of time. If it's five minutes, if it's three hours. All right. Other questions, comments? If anyone wants to talk to me more about that project, uh, about the service learning project, and it would be great if you could let me know as soon as possible if you want to pursue that so I can start making arrangements for bringing in the... Uh, the, the, the person from the organization. All right, see you over in lab.